YouTube, my name is Crum or Glenn for the win. In today's YouTube video, I will be showing you how to make a speed hack in Minecraft Bedrock Edition. Uh, this is fairly easy. Uh, props to JL for giving me the information on how to do this. But um, I'm going to be doing something a little bit different than he did. I will be including a pattern scan so that you can use this across game restarts. This is important because you, you're not going to want to go to Cheat Engine and find this every time. It's just, it's going to waste too much of your time. I mean, you could if you wanted to, but this is just way more efficient. So with that, we're going to go ahead and get into it. Um, the first thing we're going to want to be doing is we're going to be scanning for an unknown initial value right here. Uh, now, it's important to mention that uh, us standing still and then us moving is the same value, but us sprinting is a different value. It's an increased value. So we're going to go on ahead and uh, work with this now. So we're going to start with an unknown initial value and do a first scan. And now we're walking, so the value still hasn't changed, all right? And then we start running, and we're going to do an increased value now. And then while it's scanning for that increased value, we're just going to keep still be running. Right. Just keep running, just keep running. All right, now that that is done, we can go on ahead and get a few of these values out of here by scanning for an unchanged value. So I'm going to go on ahead and do that. So now I have stopped moving. We can go on ahead and do a decrease value. And if you're wondering how I'm doing this without touching my cheat engine table, uh, it's pretty simple. You just go to settings right here and you change your hotkeys. So um, as you can see, a bunch of these values are still moving. We can go on ahead and just do an unchanged value. And now we do an increased, decreased, increased, decreased, right here um, just by looking at this I can tell you that it's going to be one of these values right here because they seem to be constant um, it could be zero or um, like negative 0 0.0784 right here it could also be that but I'm assuming it's gonna be this right here I actually know it already is this right here so we're going ahead and add these to my selected um, thing right here and we can test this by changing this value. If we change this value to something higher, then the speed hack should just work. So we'll start by changing this to 0 0.5, or I mean 1.5. And you saw that change three of the values out of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Out of seven of the values, three of them have changed. So I'm assuming that that did change the uh, speed hack. So now if I move, I should move faster. Uh, no, okay. So we don't wanna worry about that one or any of the ones that it changed. Uh, what about this guy? Maybe this one? So, yeah. So as you can see, now now this stuff is working and now the speed hack is working. So you can work with just this right here and you can find this every time or you can go on ahead and write some code to automatically find the pattern that brings you to this address. And that's what we call an AOB uh, pattern scan or an AOB injection which means array of bytes. Um, you can do some more research on that online. But uh, we're gonna go ahead and name this speed pack. All right. And now we're gonna go on ahead and right click this and we wanna find out what accesses this address. And then it's probably going to be one of the initial values that we see here. Now I know if I start sprinting, uh, you'll see all these values start to show up on here, but these these are not these are changing All right now the instructions might be the same But what I mean by changing is that it's it's monitoring rather than I'm sprinting or walking is what it's doing It's not monitoring my speed So we want to worry about one of these and 
since this one is going off the roof, I'm guessing it's going to be this one. And we can see move SS XMM0, R8. Now I'm going to guess that XMM0 holds the value for our speed. We can check this by going into more information right here. And then if we click this little F right here, this little F icon, then we'll see XMM0. And you can see that that value is 1.50 and down here it's 1.50. So um, let's go ahead and close this and see if we can't uh, find that value right there. So we'll go on ahead and um, do show disassembler right here. And then we're going to go to tools and then do an auto assemble and create an AOB injection. This is going to create us a template for the AOB injection that we need. And we're going to name it speed. All right. So up here at this top right here, we're going to change this allocation for new memory from a thousand bytes to a hundred bytes because it's not needed for all that. All right. And then underneath it, we're going to actually going to allocate um, a new symbol, a register symbol, and it'll be called speed value. So we're going to name it speed value. And then we'll give this four bytes um, right there, just like that. And now inside of new memory right here, we're going to write some new code to change the speed value of XMM, to change the value of XMM0 to what we want it to be. All right. So we're going to do MOVSS and then we'll type XMM0 and then do comma. And then inside of here, and don't worry about this. This is just because I pressed one of the keys that I have set to my scan. So uh, we'll go right here and we'll type speed value, just like that. And then we'll do jump return. Um, this is gonna load the float uh, from memory into XMMO zero. And we'll have to specify the value for speed uh, value down below. So we're gonna go down to uh, right here and we're gonna register a new symbol for the speed value, just like this, pretty simple. And then down here, we're gonna unregister this. We'll do unregister symbol, and then we'll type speed value. And then right here where it says deallocate new memory, we're also gonna deallocate the speed value, just like that. And we're forgetting one more thing right here. We need to, uh, uh, we need to set the value for our speed. So we're going to do speed value right here. And then underneath it, we'll type DD and then we'll do floats. And we're going to change this to something insane for our speed. We'll do 15, which is actually going to be really fast. And uh, that's pretty much it for this. Hopefully I didn't mess any of this code up. It looks all right to me. Um, just give me a second to look over this. So we have allocate speed value right here. We have our new instructions right here. We have our register symbol for the speed value. We have our speed value. And then we unregister or unload all of it. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and assign that to our cheat table. Now if I toggle you on, uh, my game didn't crash, which is a good sign. As you can see, the speed hack is now working in an effect. Um, can prove it by turning it off and then we'll change this value to something smaller so that we can like barely move or maybe not even move at all even so we'll just do that right there and then toggle that on and yeah so as you can see I can't I can barely move now so that's that's how you do that and you see right there that that changes the uh, address to speed and then it jumps to the next available memory for it so we know it's working um, that's pretty much it for that guys. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe, uh, leave a comment too. If, uh, you have any other tips or anything else you'd like to see in the future. Um, with that, I'll also leave a link to the table that I have right here already made up. I'll leave a link to this in the description. If you just want to use this cheat table, um, but before I do that, I want to explain to you guys this XP write right here. So if I if I turn this on, you'll see that my XP didn't change. It's supposed to change to 500 right here, but it doesn't. That's because I have to 
uh, kill something or well let's just give myself experience bottles and once my value reaches 11 then it'll go into 500 you see just like that so that's how that works um but anyway if you like the video again like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one peace out guys